You know, when you add five people to your household, even for just a couple days, it really is different than the norm. For the next couple days, I'm actually gonna be preparing for my brother-in-law and his family to come down and visit us for the weekend. It's just all these little things that you overlook and get used to. Well, this was the dose of motivation I needed to get some of those projects done. Stick with me and I will guarantee You'll never last alone the crowd with me Welcome to today's video where we are already starting to destroy things. Just kidding, I'm actually putting this back together. This is a couch that I, um, I attempted to paint basically a year ago actually. And well, it didn't turn out as good as I had hoped. And um, yeah, the, the paint crumbled and cracked and all sorts of things. So it's important to do your research a little bit more thoroughly than I do when you want to start projects like this. If you do want to paint a couch, add fabric softener to your paint just a little bit and that will make it stretchy. So anyways, that is your bonus tip for the day. So today and for the next couple days, I'm actually going to be preparing for my brother-in-law and his family to come down and visit us for the weekend. And one part of preparing for them coming was that I, I decided it is time to deal with this couch and make this couch like actually nice and usable again, which in the short term means I bought a couch cover for it. I, I, I don't know why it took me so long to think of buying a couch cover. When I was helping my friend like deep clean her house the other day, she had gotten a couch cover for their couch. So it matched the space a little bit more. And I was just amazed, like a couch cover. Who would have thought? So long story short, I decided that I was gonna buy a couch cover and since I'm buying a couch cover, I'm also gonna put the legs back on so that the couch cover can actually like fold, like fold in under the bottom of the couch. Why were the legs off, you may ask? That is because two of the legs would always fall out of the couch. The holes where they screwed in were stripped, so eventually it was just more convenient to leave the legs off. And no more paint chips on the floor all the time. It's gonna be amazing. So, in the next couple days, I have a handful of things to do to prepare. I'm getting this couch ready. We ordered a new air mattress and some stuff for everyone to be able to camp out in our little place here. I have food things I need to prepare, meal planning, the grocery shopping. I need to make sure I have all of the bedding I need, the towels, the bathroom stuff, soap, etc. You know, when you add five people to your household, even for just a couple days, like it's, it really is, different than the norm, obviously. It's gonna be my brother-in-law and his wife and they're three little kids. So we're gonna be like camping out together here here in our house. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I prepare all the things for that so that it can be comfortable, welcoming, homey, fun, all the things. Even we have some activities that I wanna plan to do with my nieces and nephews. I just love them. I love them, I love them. It's gonna be super fun and just thought I'd bring you along for the process. This is preparing our house for five additional members of the family to hang out for a couple of days. And again, step one was getting this couch ready, which includes putting the feet back on the couch. The screws inside the couch here, it, it stripped away the wood. Like, maybe, maybe you can see that. It is totally stripped. So, I decided to do a bold move here, and that is I'm going to glue them, and they are gonna be there for the long haul. I also have some foot pads that I want to glue onto the bottom of my kitchen table and one of my kitchen seats, because I noticed my dining chair is starting to rub away the floor, and that is just really, uh, just, it's sad. It just, it doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna be putting some felt pads, I don't know, something on the bottom of there. Also, I have a bunch of laundry to do, just trying to do all this work ahead of time so that when the family's here, don't need to worry about it. And then we're gonna do some planning, which is gonna be fun. Let's see what meal planning looks like when you're feeding seven people. All right, let's do this couch. 
I have decided to use this Gorilla Glue construction adhesive because I think it's just gonna be good for everything, right? So I think I'm going to just put it in the hole and then screw this guy back into it. Well, there was a bit of a dried clump on the top, so, so I just cut off the top. And uh, now I will never be able to use this for anything else ever again, but this would do this well. I'll do this all the way. Well, that one worked out super nicely. And I just put a little stack of books underneath it to prop it up to keep the foot from like sagging down, coming out of the hole, what, whatnot. So I think that will work really good. Now, I actually am going to eat some lunch. And then we're going to get the felt pads on the bottom of the table. On the bottom of the table and dining table chair. from Amazon. I hope my couch cover is in here. All right, we have our air mattress pump, all that fun stuff, and ugh, air mattress. Mm, no couch cover, but that's okay. To be honest, I wasn't even thinking that I should put the couch cover on today because with the Gorilla Glue in there, I really think it should be left to dry completely before I move it and yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to put it upright and start sliding it around, have that get loose in there and to not stick and not work permanently. So I guess we're just gonna leave it at that for now. So now it's time for me to shift gears from house projects to food and preparation and all that stuff for my husband for his lunch kit. So I think right now I am going to prepare his lunch kit meals for tomorrow and tidy up the house a little bit. And if I have time before he gets home, then I will work on the food planning and activity planning for when my relatives get here. And I'm going to be baking some sourdough bread with einkorn flour. I made a video about experimenting with sourdough a couple weeks ago, and you may have seen that video. Maybe you haven't. It was super fun, and, and it worked amazingly well to make this sourdough loaf. But what I found is that it still, still didn't sit right with my husband and I, like in our gut, with our health. I definitely broke out a little bit with acne and um, yeah, I could just tell energy wise, like it just wasn't, it just wasn't the thing. So we're gonna try einkorn flour, which is an ancient form of wheat in my understanding. And I have a good friend who has had major gut issues in the past and she uses this exclusively for her baking and sourdough and she says it works great, so. That's what we're gonna do. Preparations are happening, things are working, um, but we're just gonna do the couch thing tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next day and I am about to head out the door. But first, I need to put some sourdough, einkorn bread this time, into my baskets and put that in the fridge until I can bake it later this afternoon or evening. So I'm gonna be heading out and heading to town to hang out with a friend, doing a bit of deep cleaning with her. And then oh, we are going to go and do some decor shopping and I'll do some grocery shopping. We're just gonna run errands together because it's fun to do with friends, right? So anyways, as we're going out to do the grocery shopping, I will pick up what I need for the family being out as well as soaps, toiletries, etc. Four or five additional people. And that's gonna be basically the plan for today. Oh boy, this is sticky. 
Oh, don't leave your hands on too long or you will get stuck. From Publix, I got two kinds of plant milk because I wasn't sure what my nieces and nephews might like. Um, another coffee creamer, always necessary. Black olives, liquid smoke, feta cheese. Then I had got some beans, black beans, garbanzo beans to make hummus, cucumbers, bell peppers, lettuce, fennel. I got these snack bars, which I always get for Cliff's lunch kits, super awesome. And two kinds of cereal. So that is all from Publix. And this is all from TJ Maxx. So got avocado for a pretty good price. Not as good as Ross, but it will, it will, it'll be good. Everything seasoning because you better believe I'm going to be making sourdough bagels in my future. Smoked paprika, good old fashioned steel wool, a glass food storage container, needed a bigger one, and a sweet chili sauce. Oh, huh, I'm actually realizing for the first time that it is sweet ginger chili sauce. I like ginger, but we'll see how uh, we'll see how my husband likes that. Anyways, then we have our beauty stuff. This is the body wash and conditioner and shampoo that I got. I, I, I needed the whole shebang because my husband and I actually only use bar soap for myself personally. So I also got some bar soaps. I find it a lot easier to get bar soaps that do not have artificial fragrance in there. It's pretty important when you're looking at the ingredients to get something that does not have something like fragrance or perfume. So that's why I like looking at the ingredients and I find it's way more common for bar soaps to not have those ingredients than liquid soaps. Unfortunately, all these liquid soaps have not the best ingredients that I would like, but they are better than a lot of other ones in my opinion. So finally, I got some essential oils and a single one here and another lip gloss, which is more of a pinky, light pinky color. So that'll be fun. And I am really hungry. It's already 2.30 and I've been gone all morning. So Oh, it's time to sit down and eat some food. Finish putting this all away, getting the, a couple things in the bathroom set up. I have a shelf and an art piece that I wanna put up, as well as some extra towel hooks. That'll be important for the family to use. Yeah, we'll see what all we get done. I have some more laundry to fold from yesterday, but at 4.30, I am going over to a neighbor's house to get some chicken manure for my compost and worms, worms to make garden fertilizer. So I'm super excited about that. This is something that I've been wanting to do for two months since I started work on the garden. So that is very exciting to me and I'll see how much I get done between now and 4.30. The Amazon truck is here. Let's go see if my couch cover is in. It wasn't it. Oh. It wasn't it at all. How disappointing. Well, maybe I'll just go see the kittens instead. golden treasure that I have here in the Corvette. Quite, quite special, right? It's a little dry, crusty. So, now I've 
brought the manure to my little compost cage. I got some materials the other day that are just waiting to be mixed together. I really should do this pretty soon, honestly, but I'm not sure if I have enough manure yet. So, whew, that was a lot. And this shirt is way too hot for this. Really should have changed the t-shirt, but whatever the case, time to go inside. Glad we're done with these chores. And it was very, very cool to meet my uh, neighbor, farmer, farmer neighbor, get some manure. And she's like, yeah, you can come over and get as much as you want, anytime you want, as long as you close the gate. I'm a little tired and rambling, so I'm gonna go inside. For the rest of the evening, I baked my loaf of bread, made some supper, and chilled. This is the einkorn bread that I was talking about, and it ended up being very tasty and very dense. I think I may have left it too long in the first ferment, so it didn't have enough steam to expand again in the second. This week preparing for family to come over has been filled with a lot of variety, especially with cleaning and preparing the house and doing some random long awaited projects. The thing about hosting is that it gives you fresh eyes to look at your home. When you're in the routine of life, it's easy to get comfortable with things, even if it's not the best or it's not exactly what you want. So when I knew the family was coming over, all of a sudden I saw that there were multiple things I wanted to shape up before they arrived. There was baking sourdough, fixing up our couch, putting pads on the bottoms of the chairs and dining table, hanging art and a shelf in the bathroom, putting away the window AC unit, etc, etc. I even sorted through a stack of random papers and prepped more sourdough for cinnamon rolls. It's just all these little things that you overlook and get used to. Well, this was the dose of motivation I needed to get some of those projects done. All right, it is Thursday. It is the day that my relatives are going to be arriving today. Actually in about three hours, I think, which is very exciting, but that means that I really need to get to cleaning. I've already um, been up and about and I went to town this morning, got some eggs, got some final fun things. Anyways, I am in the bathroom again and it is time to deep clean this thing and uh, basically make sure it's all really nice and ready to go. body mirror. This is one of the things I got from my friend today. And I'm like, finally, I can have at least a little bit of a mirror. The bathroom is sufficiently clean, so I am going to put away my cleaning supplies and time to just clear, clear out all the dishes, clean that up and sweep and mop the floor if I have the time to, but at least I am going to mop around in the kitchen because you know that's where it gets the most sticky, greasy, splattery. And then they're gonna be here! So, so exciting! The fun has begun. Our relatives are here. They got in just after the couch cover finally arrived. So 
as you saw, I was able to put that together with my niece, which was super fun. So cute. We were just at the park. Uh, it's been it's been so good already. So all the prep was well worth it. Having fun, enjoying ourselves, and I'm just grateful to be with family and uh, glad to have you all around for the process of getting ready for that. So with that, I think I will turn off the camera and just enjoy being present with the family. Maybe I'll get a few more clips just for fun. But yeah, I will say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment. Also subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Bye. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taking us. Mm -hmm. Over fields and through the country, letting go of everything but us. Mm -hmm. Over the rainbow. I think so too. If we hold tight, we can chase the Mississippi through the night. Hundreds of miles.